Hey guys, good morning. Uh, today we're doing Ezekiel chapter 2. Uh, last night was a cool class. If you missed it, uh, you know, we had a timeline between Ezekiel, Jeremiah, and Daniel, and we talked about all of, all three of them and, and their relations to each other and, and how God used them to reach the people of Israel and the Chaldeans. And so it was a good, good class, and I still have some information if anybody wants it. Uh, but today we're doing Ezekiel 2, and this is, uh, God has given Ezekiel instruction. Remember, Ezekiel is still um, in his vision here. And he gives him instruction on, on reaching people who don't really want to be reached. You know, these are people who are just against God and just against his ways, and they just don't want to do it. They're really against it. You know, sounds a little familiar to today. So I'm going to go ahead and just, it's its a very short chapter. It's only 10 verses. I'm going to go ahead and just read some of what I highlighted. Starting in verse 3, and it's going to, going to skip and patch over, but you'll follow along. Uh, it says, Son of man, I am sending you to a rebellious nation that has rebelled against me. They and their fathers have transgressed against me to this very day. They are impudent and stubborn children, whether they hear or whether they refuse, for they are a rebellious house. Yet they will know that a prophet has been among them. And you, son of man, do not be afraid of them, nor be afraid of their words. Though briars and thorns are with you, and you dwell among scorpions, do not be afraid of their words, or dismayed by their looks, though they are a rebellious house. Do not be rebellious like that rebellious house. Open your mouth and eat what I give you. See, so the Lord is sending him to eat, eat. The Lord is sending him to a place where you know he may not want to be. It's going to be a little bit uncomfortable. You know, he says he talks about the briars and the thorns and the scorpions. It, it's going to be uncomfortable. These things are going to try and prick you, and and they're going to scorpions. I, I bet really hurt. But we've got to remember, as God says here, he says, he says, open your mouth and eat this. Take this. As a sign of obedience, we've got to remember, you, you know, Jesus told us, I give you power over serpents and scorpions. I give you power over things that bite and sting. So even though God sends us to places, don't be afraid. We shouldn't be afraid. We are not called to be like the rest of them. Instead, we are called and we have the power and the, the authority over those evil spirits that are behind all of these things. So here's a cool little chapter, chapter, chapter 2, 10 verses. I hope everybody reads it and please share your revelation. Share what God is showing to you. But if you take anything out of this, remember we don't have to be like everybody else. We are to be who God called us to be. And if you're looking for fulfillment in life, that's the only way you're truly going to find it. Have a great day, guys. I love you all.